Uh, so the built environment is where we spend most of our lives and it, it has the biggest impact on the sustainability of our society, yet it has a very low rate of innovation. So Langerhoek saw an opportunity in that and that was how the Engineering Excellence Group was born. So I think, yeah, the Engineering Excellence Group, I think, is a think tank in, in that it's a group of individuals who are given the brain space to think strategically, long term and outside of the box. And I'm not aware of any other engineering organisation that has a similar think tank to the Engineering Excellence Group. So as an international organisation, we straddle multiple geographies. So in Australia, we see many examples of leading engineering practices, and we're able then to take those to our other geographies. But equally vice versa, we see technologies and methodologies used in other geographies that we can then bring to Australia. So we see a, a significant opportunity for the engineering industry to learn cross geographies and, and uh, learn as a, as a global body. We're really driven to turn what we create into something real and for us it only has value when it has that reality about it. Because Langerork is a commercial organisation there's little value to Langerork in just coming up with conceptual ideas which are interesting and you know they may get a lot of play out in the industry but we need to make sure that Langer Rourke is the one who's really, I guess, capitalising upon those and can then help spread out and develop those technologies from there. So we're exploring different strategies of how to communicate with our stakeholders using these bits of information, how to communicate with our teams on site with these informations. An example of that is a technology called augmented reality, which is a way of bringing in virtual information into our real world. So it looks like it's part of our world. So we can go out onto a site and pull up an iPad and show to a client what their building would look like on a completely empty site, but augmented reality can insert the 3D model of the building into that real scene. So it looks like it's part of the real world. Australia's engineering industry is very, very tied up, mostly with the uh, resources, heavy infrastructure, that kind of thing, which for us in Langer Rourke is very different from our UK business, where there's a lot of uh, just straight up buildings that we make. So there's a lot of opportunity there because that sector, the resources sector, has a lot, obviously a lot of work to be done in it. There's still a lot of construction yet to be done, but a lot of potential then for trying out new technologies, new processes, new methods.